<laughs> Check that out, huh? Now here's the real question. How do I get these off? Shake them off. Okay, that pulls up out of your way. Yeah. Yeah, it's rushing. Out here, hanging out with Millie at the bee farm. But for real though, uh, Sean just got 30 beehives, right? He drove in, he texted me last night. He said, going 80 through Nashville with a trailer full of bees. <laughs> It's like dying laughing. Anyway, so yeah, we're, we're setting all this up today, getting all of his things ready, these guys, and I'm gonna learn a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be a hell of a day. Okay, so we're gonna set this. We got in our packages just just last night, and we're gonna set up all these hives to install the packages in. So I'm setting all these up with eight frames each in a 10 frame box, and then two of the frames will hold a feeder that'll hold two gallons of sugar water so that they can get an extra good, easy start. So these all hives were lost last year. They absconded, which means they just left for goodness knows what reason, right in fall, right when they don't need to be going anywhere to find a new home. But that seems to be a common theme this year with other beekeepers also. They said they've lost a whole lot of hives that were just absolutely healthy and did great and have no reason to lose them and now they're gone so get out the old beetle traps these are made to catch beetles and that's a bunch of yucky nasty beetles in there we got a few pests those are imported from South Africa they're nice enough to come and plague our honeybees forever and ever now we'll get in here and see what kind of damage has been done is it nice? yeah Look at this. Oh, another little goner. So cute. Probably ought to keep those in your house so they live longer. Now see how they died with their with their butts sticking out? You guys see that? That is that means that they starved to death. It means they did not have enough food to make it through the winter. This side here is what the mice did. They gobbled all that stuff up, made themselves room, and gave and, and ate the food. And there's probably baby bees here, and they ate all those up. Any larvae or anything like that. Damn, is that one ruined? No. No, I'll put this right back in, and they'll just fix build, it. They'll build it right back up. And there's where the mice made their nest. And so. But all this is great, they'll rebuild that and they'll be happy to have it. It's a really nice place to live because there's uh because the bees keep it warm in here. See, this is all brood that didn't make it, and uh, that was where the babies and they they died some emerging tongues out. See, when they got their tongue out like that, that means that they most times that means they were poisoned. And they've all got their tongues out so there may be some sort of a bug spray that was in the uh that was in the honey that they were being fed or there's just there's no telling so many those humans are really good at killing stuff okay so we got all this set up we got a bunch of empty boxes here and then these like like I don't know exactly what they're called, but the bees build their honeycombs off of them and live in them and all that. And some of them are new and some are used, so I guess Sean's going to tell me how we're going to assort these in these boxes so that way you get the most bang for your buck, I guess. Like put some new ones with some old ones, but you can't just do every other. I, 
I don't know. So I guess we're gonna learn how that works. The bees started waking up a bit, so I had to grab a hat. And I, they were getting caught in my hair and getting a little mad and all that. Apparently we need, for now, we're gonna start with three of the ones that are drawn out, I guess. And drawn out means it has the honeycombs built up on them. And then we're gonna use the rest there. But I guess maybe we'll add some more if um, we end up having extra drawn out. But if you can see behind me, and that's not all of them. So there's a lot of a lot of bees. And here in a bit, we're gonna, I guess I have a, Sean said that we're gonna have like a cloud of bees that's gonna fly up, but I'm gonna wear a bee suit. Cha-ching! Talk about Sherlock Holmes up in here, man. So we've got six frames of drawn comb in each one of these. So this is what the drawn comb looks like. So it's all been drawn out and ready to go so they can start laying eggs in that right away and start making babies as fast as they can. Then we're going to put two more frames of fresh or new frames with, uh, with just foundation on them. It hasn't been drawn yet. We do this because they can go really fast with this and the wax is the most expensive thing to the bees. It's the most valuable. It takes about 10 pounds of honey to make one pound of wax and it takes time and it's hard to get started. So we'll give them this much. They'll be off to the races. We'll put the uh, two new frames in each one and they will go very quickly. And then we've got the rest of our, our honey frames that we're holding back for the, for the honey crop. And we'd like to get new frames every once in a while because then we can get rid of old frames and uh and it makes everything healthier the new the new stuff is always healthier in the in the wild they will they will cut the old wax off and it will drop then the wax moths will eat all that up and get it out of the way for them and they can draw all new uh foundation and, and comb and stuff so that's what we're doing right now yeah so we just uh got so like all the lids and i don't know exactly what what these things are but I'm sure we'll figure it out here pretty soon we've got everything is full of frames we've got our shim board on we got all our tops ready to go we need to add feed we need to get our pollen patties ready to be installed then we're ready to install packages so let's go make some feed so we're gonna make up some some bee feed it's nothing but plain white sugar which is what what they need they don't any type of that raw or brown sugars or any of that stuff will make them sick so you have to use just the, the stuff that's got nothing in it so we got a little bit of water in here we're gonna really mix this one to one we're gonna be a little heavy because we're so nice to the bees one pound of sugar to one pound of water. So we should have about, about five pounds of sugar per pound of water. I'm not exactly sure on the math there. It's, we're splitting hairs at that point. A little bit of apple cider vinegar to keep it from molding. And, oh, hang on. This is, this is called Honey Bee Healthy. It's what I use for several brands. But this makes it yummy for them. Sometimes they won't want to take the feed. So this will help that. And then we just mix it up. Got the uh, bee feed mixed up. Sean just grabbed some pollen patties and some other stuff. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I, we're about to learn to find out. Got suited up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I gotta keep the cowboy hat on. Got suited up. We're about to uh, give the bees these, this feed and learn what that patty stuff is.
feel like I'm spilling a lot, which is bad because then it'll get the other bees coming. But if everybody's got feed, there shouldn't be any robbing wars. Okay. All right, so we're gonna show you how to install a three pound package of bees. This is what this is how they come. So we're just gonna fry this off. This uh, can here has the feed in it, uh, lasting for a couple days. Turn this upside down and can is tight. Gonna rip it out of there. I learned this from my marine buddy. Judo chop. <laughs> the judo chop. Yeah, come on out of there. Okay. See, it pops right out of there. Then you pull the queen out. She's in there with a few of her attendants. Pull the cork plug so that they can get at the sugar inside there and they can dig her out. I put her right in the middle. I'm using a rim board. Normally you would take this and put it down in between a couple frames and it would uh, it will, uh, and it'll hold right in there, just no problem. You get them moving, and then in they go. Easy. But just, uh, they like the dark, you know, they feel like they're relaxing. Yeah. I'm gonna put this on here, rub this around so we don't squish anybody. It doesn't even squish. Uh, cover them up a little bit just because I think they like the, they like it to be dark. They're really confused. They don't know where their queen is. They've spent enough time with her to start accepting her, smelling her. But there's just a lot of confusion right now. So, okay, next, we're gonna install what are called pollen patties. These here, these are high protein little patties that mimic the pollen that they would get out of the, uh, from the plants. This way, they've got plenty in there. They've got nothing to worry about. They can, figure that they've got enough of everything without having to leave. There's a lot of pollen out right now, but this will give them whatever they want at a moment's notice. So I put this shim board on here so that they would not, so I can put this patty in here and not hurt anybody. I'm going to sweep them off like this and then I'm going to try and leave I like to leave a corner open on these pallets it's kind of hard and they should go down in there give it time okay and that's it wait for most of them to go in there you can just leave it out on top. They'll find their way down in there eventually. We're gonna install the rest of these now. We're getting to the point where we've got all these filled up and hived up. Hived up. What do you call it? What's the word? Uh, installed. Installed In packages. The packages are installed. So you see this? They're almost all in there. Just a few bees and they're almost all on the outside. So we're gonna Shake them off the rest of the way. Brush off anybody that's not got the picture yet. Then we're gonna close this up very gently without smashing a single one of them. Well, maybe one of them. And then we'll just leave this here. 
and that's done. So we got the queen in there, we got the pollen patties in there, we got the feed in there, we got the bees in there. Now, get away from them. Leave them alone and they'll do their job. Yeah, talk about beekeeping. I don't know if I said this or not yet, but so Sherlock Holmes was a beekeeper, right? Indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> yeah, at the end of his life, actually. This is uh, gonna be the end of our life. <sighs> so. Yeah. And Sherlock Holmes is probably the coolest character. So here we are. We got 20 packages installed. Five packages in the apiary anyway. 10 more to do tomorrow and we're done for the day. All right, I'm gonna give this thing a whirl. Check out some beekeeping. Going in this one, right? Yep. We'll pop this thing open. Okay. Take this. Go over this. Oh, get the queen off her. Hmm? Get your queen off there first. My what? Your queen. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be... Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about her. <laughs> Smacking <laughs> it around with her in that one there. <laughs> that would not make him happy. There we go. She's probably dizzy now. <laughs> yeah, about right there. Don't Kill get him in. Him. Watch the water. Protecting the queen. Look at that. Yep, they're all over. And then we set this. Look at that. Yep. Looks good. And that's it for Hunter the beekeeping cowboy. <laughs> yeah.